I would just like you to indulge me in a personal anecdote. The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. I want to say that I met Justice Alito's mother in 1976 when I worked in Hamilton Township. I was an English as a second language teacher. And she was a brilliant educator. She was a teacher supervisor. She had been a principal, a classroom teacher, respected by everyone. And my sister-in-law, Dr. Mary Roro, always kept a note with her from the justice's father when he taught biology at Junior Four in Trenton. And he had written to my sister-in-law, never abandon your dream of becoming a physician. And they were the days when women weren't going into medicine very often. And she has kept that note with her, and it che she cherishes it. We have a very special person with us, as you all know. And now I'm going to ask Supreme Ju a Court Justice of New Jersey, Marie Garibaldi, if she would step forward to do the introduction. Thank you. Buongiorno. That's my extent of my Italian, I'm ashamed to say. But all the students said buongiorno, and I would be embarrassed if I didn't say at least that. Uh, it is with a great deal of pleasure and pride that I've been asked to introduce our keynote speaker, the Associate Justice Samuel A. Alito, Jr., the Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. Now, Justice Alito is a true Jersey boy. He was born in Trenton. He attended, I have at Steiner, now I understand it's Nottingham uh, High School in Hamilton, New Jersey. He then attended Princeton University and at his graduation, the entry in his yearbook stated, and I quote, Sam intends to go to law school and eventually to warm a seat on the Supreme Court. Now, I have seldom seen a yearbook prediction that proved to be so accurate. I mean, that's fantastic. <laughs> Then after, after Princeton, he continued his terrific scholastic achievements. He went to Yale Law School, where he was a uh, editor of the Yale Law Journal. After Yale, he served in the US Army, and he was a captain when he was honorably discharged. After the uh, law school and the Army, he continued his public service. And Stam has spent his life devoted his life to public service. He's had numerous jobs. The first one, he was a law clerk to Judge Leo Goth, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals. He was also assistant U.S. attorney, District of New Jersey. Then he was assistant to the Solicitor General, U.S. Department of Justice, a position in which he argued 12 cases on behalf of the federal government in the U.S. Supreme Court, and in which he engaged numerous times before other federal courts of appeal. He then ended up as a US attorney for the District of New Jersey, where he is best known for prosecuting white collar and environmental crimes, drug trafficking, organized crime, and violation of civil rights. In 1990, President George H. Bush nominated Justice Alito to serve on the Th Third Circuit Court of Appeals. And in 2006, President George W. Bush, I get the W and the H is mixed up, appointed Justice Alito to become Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. He was the 110th Justice appointed to the Supreme Court. Now, Justice Alito is the quintessential judge. He has superb judicial demeanor. He has a scholarly, rational, and intelligent approach to the law. There are many excellent reasons for Italian Americans to be proud of Justice Alito. In his judicial career, he has gathered great respect and praise from fellow jurists, fellow attorneys, and others in the legal community. But in addition to his professional achievements, I think we particularly take pride in Justice Alito because he indicates to us the fulfillment of the American dream, which we all want to share. As you've heard, his, from Gilda, his dad was an immigrant. He came to the United States and he became a teacher. 
I never had the privilege of meeting him. But after he was a teacher, he taught, he became a member of uh, the Office of Legislative Services, which provided research and advice to the New Jersey legislators. He later became director of that office, and he was beloved by the legislatures of both parties. Because what, as I understand it, I never had the privilege of meeting your father, but as I understand it, when the senators or the assemblymen wanted to um, draft a bill, drafting legislation is not so easy. You have to be very precise. They would go to Justice Alito's uh, father, and he would basically draft most of the bills for them. And that, that was wonderful. So he was completely nonpartisan. I've heard that from legislators of Democrats and Republicans. They all admired him so much. Now, as Justice, I have to say, he's not the only member of the Alito family who has fulfilled the American dream. His sister, Rosemary Alito, is an outstanding law employment uh, attorney in New Jersey. She is chair of the editorial board of the New Jersey Law Journal. She's a tremendous author and lecturer and a partner in a very prestigious law firm. So she too, all members of the Alito family, have achieved the American dream. And that's why no one is better suited to celebrate the achievements and the legacy of Italian Americans than Justice Alito. We take great pride in you, Justice, and we salute your many, many achievements.